so welcome along to a, uh, a fabulous loose quick floral how does that grab you so i've got the drawing down and dangerous dave our fabulous dagger brush is ready to get some uh, just a little bit of clean water on the flower area using the drawing just as a guide and uh, not too detailed, that's what we're after. A little bit of royal blue, just dropped on casually. The great shape of uh, Dangerous Dave just lends itself to placing the colour down without, uh, without getting dragged into detail. That elusive thing, looseness, yeah? So shaping the floral area delicately, left to right, just building it up. And a little bit of mauve now. Fairly weak in consistency. Again, Dangerous Dave doing his amazing thing. Dropping that on, and that water we placed down at the beginning allows the paint to flow. Without that, everything would just be static and dry and difficult to move about. Ultramarine blue, just flipping Dangerous Dave over, he doesn't mind is insured and that would place a little bit in the center of the flowers again all of these are still moving nothing static so these are creating themselves as we go a little bit of water onto the vase Vase, vase, or vows, depending how posh you are, is how you say it. Royal blue, again, just down one side. Just effortlessly placing the colour on, followed by turquoise. Just going around the top edge and bringing that down slowly, shaping with the reverse side of the fabulous Dangerous Dave. A little bit of sap green now, no expense spared on our painting. Look at the glow there, so we're trying to get a uh, the look of one of those iridescent return of the century pots from France, a little shop just off the high street in Paris. You know what I mean. The one you go to yourself, it's perfect. A little bit of water just dragging that colour down, allow it to bleed down gradually. Cad orange and sap green mixed now. I think leaves are important, but again, not detailed, so we just throw those on. Dangerous Dave is really earning his keep now. Fabulous guy, fabulous guy. And you can see a lot more of Dangerous Dave over at loosewatercolors.com. He works over there, he works nine to five. What a way to make a living! Okay? And he's got the rest of his loose gang friends who help him out to do various things. Sap green, perillion green mix. And again, just in the area of the leaves I've placed on, they're going to be wet. And as soon as we introduce a new colour, they're going to bleed in. So you see how this works. Simple theory. All you need a little bit of practice and you will be flying. So we just build up the foliage 
gradually, we don't just do all the left side and all the right side, we just go from left to right and just keep adding as we go. Miss Rieger has arrived in the building with Perilene Green and uh, Sap Green mixed attire. Just pulling out a few stems now between the flowers and the leaves. Now you can run over them or bleed in, make a nice effect, or through the white gaps in between, which really works very nicely. Just continue this, just gradually building this up. And again, as I say, we do it left side, right side, middle. Just so we keep the balance going throughout the whole of the painting. Just negatively picking out the flowers as we get the opportunity. So when the foot leaves get close to the flower's edge, that's where we can shape the flowers just a little bit. So we've got plenty of stems on this one, really doing its thing. And a little bit of ultramarine. A little bit thicker this time, just place down in the centre of some of the flowers. Dangerous Dave is back with us. Where has he been? A little bit of uh, wheat royal blue and mauve just dropped into the water to give us a nice little shadow underneath. Flambe pot from uh, 1920. A little bit of ultramarine there, just under, just to anchor the pot down. And again, look at the flow of the colour there. Easily dripping into the uh, surrounding area. So well done guys, a little bit of splat with royal blue and a little bit of satin green as well to finish off. So a great one, a great fun one there guys, you did superbly well. So to catch lots lots more of these fabulous tutorials drop by loosewatercolors.com today and uh, join me there you can stay for as little or as long as you like, but you will be loose by the end of it, believe you me. You're absolute stars. Thank you so much for your support and uh, take care until the next time.